Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me kripya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Woman de jimu ti kong tu jung yu yen, ching kan suprememastertv.com xie xian schedule. Ranjangan kami menawakan banyak bahasa, sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. Para mi juna matu ofera بالعديد من اللغات يرجى زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Наши программы предлагают много языков Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касай черта schedule Наши программы набизай вице языку Просим наштифте suprememastertv.com ломитко schedule In the beginning Alright Long, long, long Oh, <laughs> Nobody can remember how long. Long, 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 long time ago, eh? God command, God, God, God like created only 50 councils, understand? That's His children, right? To govern the universe, okay? And then the 50 councils create up to the six worlds, all right? Six. Only six. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Cálidos saludos, espectadores de Mente Abierta. Mi nombre es Hugo. Los extraordinarios uruguayos aman su personalidad radiante. Uruguay es un país socialmente avanzado situado en la región sudeste de Sudamérica. Está clasificado en el primer lugar del continente en democracia, paz, libertad de prensa y prosperidad, limitando con Argentina, Brasil y el Océano Atlántico. Uruguay tiene un predominante, un terreno llano y de suave relieve, con abundantes recursos de agua dulce. Montevideo, su capital, es el centro cultural y comercial del país y tiene mucho que ofrecer, incluyendo sus numerosos lugares históricos. La ciudad también cuenta con playas de arena, grandes parques, nostálgicos edificios, estilo Art Deco y un largo y ancho paseo, la Rambla, que recorre toda la línea costera de Montevideo. La tranquila ciudad de Colonia del Sacramento, con sus calles adoquinadas, es la ciudad más antigua del Uruguay. También es donde está situado el famoso barrio histórico, el cual está designado como sitio patrimonio de la humanidad por la UNESCO. Es un privilegio compartir un vistazo de la espectacular Uruguay con ustedes, gentiles espectadores. Deseamos que disfruten de amor, paz y tranquilidad siempre.
Durante más de tres décadas, la maestra suprema Chin Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada. Ella imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Confucio, Guru Nanak, Jesucristo, Lao Tzu, el señor Krishna, el señor Mahavira, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicios desinteresados a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai está profundamente agradecida con el amado Dios por toda la ayuda financiera, consuelo y apoyo para los afligidos y necesitados y o cualquier buena causa a través de los años como una humilde receptora para su compasión y amor hacia sus preciados hijos. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai recibe apoyo y amor de numerosas organizaciones, medios de comunicación, gobiernos y personas individuales, así como muchos galardones de su parte, como por ejemplo el Premio Gucci de la Paz 2006, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, el Premio al Liderazgo Mundial Espiritual en 1994, el Premio Mahavir en el 2008, la proclamación de los días 22 de febrero y 25 de octubre como Día de la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, nombrada Ciudadana Honoraria de los Estados Unidos, etc. Y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias.
Nos disculpamos por no poder mostrar otros muchos premios y honores por falta de espacio y tiempo. Como verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de productos vegetales y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y entre ellas se incluyen la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, los restaurantes veganos internacionales Loving Hut, empresas de productos de alimentación veganos, productos de piel vegana, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, etc. Tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no, sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida respetuoso con los animales y de cómo esta manera benevolente puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático y de los desastres. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre muchos temas espirituales. Hoy tenemos la bendición de presentar una de estas inspiradoras conferencias titulada La historia de la creación, parte 1 de 4, en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, impartida en inglés el 26 de febrero del 2005. You think you can win the election? No? Yes? All right. Good. Good that you know what you are. <laughs> Have a little explaining so that you'll be a little bit more happy. Okay? I hope. In the beginning. All right? Long, long, long. Oh. <laughs> Nobody can remember how long. Long, 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 long time ago, eh? God command, God, God, God like created only 50 councils, understand? That's his children, right? 
to govern the universe, okay? And then the 50 council create up to the six world, all right? Six, only six. The fifth world is the leftover of the sixth world. You got it? Right. And then the fifth world begin to expand and create creativity because there is a limit between different worlds, you know? Uh, if we have a black body, I can tell you, but okay. <laughs> anyway, okay, God, right? The fifty council, right? The sixth world, right? Yeah. Leftover, just sift through. Whatever, leftover. Sometimes you you are doing something and you, you screen out the best, understand? You you sift out the best, whatever the leftover, you just leave it there. Aside, you know? Are you ready to throw in the garbage? But you can use it also. For example, you make soya milk. Can you hear me through all this translation? You're right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm trying to explain the inexplicable, yeah? So you try to understand what the incomprehensible, <laughs> all right? So we're both in trouble here anyway, <laughs> not just you, okay? <laughs> right. So uh, the leftover is the fifth word now, huh? okay? The highest of the whole creation. Yeah. And uh, the fifth word as a natural of it, also expand and shift, shifting, yeah? And it becomes the fourth, because the, na the fifth word also has the creative power from the Most High. Do you understand me? Yes. We all have that in us. That's the problem. That's why we want to do this, we want to do that. I explain more, okay? We all have the creative power of God. We are one with God. That is for sure. We are one with God, but we not, you cannot become God. Okay? I keep saying we before because, you know, I want you to feel like you are with me. Okay, we is fine. Um, like, everyone is one with God, in a way, even hell is. You understand me? Yes. All came from there, no? It's just sipping through, yeah? And if it, whatever the most cruel, the most heavy will stay, settle at the bottom. Kabish? Yeah. Right, now we got it. The Okay, we talk from the, the fifth floor, eh? The sixth floor is above all this. Uh, okay, it's not your business, right? <laughs> fifth floor, okay, and then he expand, yeah? He want also to create and expand. He want to expand and create, just like God, of course, because he's, he's from God, even though he's a leftover. No? The leftover from the soya crew that you make soya meal, it is still soya. Do you understand? The milk, the tofu, everything is soya. The leftover that you want to throw away, that's also soya. And he has a soya tendency, the quality in him that he cannot discard. Right. So that this guy create, yeah? Like God created the 50 council, and 50 council have subordinated and all that kind of thing. It's like word in itself. It's not just like 50 person. Like um, the cabinet and the parliament. Yeah? We call it parliament. But there are thousands of people in there. A different direction represent different uh, uh, culture, different people, different provinces. Kabish? And from the provinces, a different representative of different uh, town, different city, different villages. Kabish? Yes. Right, but it's too much to talk about, but it's no use. So we talk about the fifth world. Now this guy, because he's left over from the sixth world, he's a crudest, so he left left over. So the intended for the universe, only six, you understand me? Yes. Uh, this guy, he, he has a creative urge in him, so he creates, yeah? So he continues to create. and. He had to sip, to, to choose the material in order to create, you know? So all the finer material, he keep it. On the fifth level, of course, it's a natural thing, yeah? So he stay in the fifth level. Whatever left over, he's come to create the fourth level. 
according to the quality. Oh, my quality. <laughs> my voice. Why do I have to scream like that? I'm like a politician. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But have you heard this thing before anyway, no? Oh, anyway. Oh, okay. Then it's good. And then I should tell you. I thought maybe somebody crazy imagine or something. <laughs> All right, fine, we'll continue. Okay, so whatever is the fine material, he use it for the fifth level. He create more beings on the fifth level, yeah? Or whatever in the fifth level of the final material. Even gold, you know, right? Diamond, they all selected the finest quality, the finest gold, and then the ore, they do something else. Capish now? Yeah. Right. Oh, sometimes milk, no? they select the cream of the milk, yeah, and the milk is the milk, the cream is cream, they all came from the same thing, yeah. Anyway, so it comes to the floor, yeah, and then Lower down, the, the cruder one, he create the third level, and that's as far as he wants to create, because he thinks the other one is, is not worth it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's too much already. <laughs> so he lost over the three worlds, from the third to the, to the fifth. Nah? Fine. After a while, there's something shipped over. No, he created only. Up to the fourth, that's it. And the third is the leftover on the, of the fourth and the fifth. And now the third, there's a, there's a, the, how do you say, the frontier between all this, you know? So, then the third guy, he also has creative urge in him, no? <laughs> he sit there, he so itchy, itchy. Oh, I gotta do something, you know? <laughs> I'm also from God, no? What am I doing here? <laughs> Sitting, doing nothing. And then he begin to create. So most people who worship God, that is Brahma, the third world. Nevertheless, he's great. When you get to the third world, you're free already. Because that is origin of all the, you know, this uh, gross level, the origin of all. The most from God, yeah. <laughs> no, he created, create. He created only up to the astral level, astral. Because from the Brahman to the astral, it is still fine, you know? You don't have this physical body, eh? And then the astral want to create the physical. You know that, huh? So he's also itchy, itchy there. <laughs> I have the power. I have the power. And he has a lot of power. You have magical power, yeah? You have the power to change everything, you know, within his environment. And he, he has the power to manifest things, so he just wants to use it. Fine, well, he creates more in the astral and the physical. He did not create hell. Hell is the leftover from the physical. Do you understand now? Right. That's the crudest one, nowhere else can go. <laughs> In the beginning, nobody wants to go to hell. Nobody from the physical or anything that go to hell. It's just the, the being in there, it doesn't look like anything at all because the hell is being, they're just a leftover, yeah? They don't even have any soul or anything. It's just the crudest of all the crew that you can get. But because he's also from God, <laughs> he has a tiny, vincent, little, you know, wincy, kitty, whatever, that little, little point of God in him, in the hell, the hell is being. So he also feels like he needs to <laughs> create and expand, but he can't. It's too weak, the physical. If we are physical, we still have a little creativity, you know? We can do this, we can do that, eh? But the hell is they cannot do anything anymore. That's all they got. That's the end of the road. But he's still itchy, 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 want to create anything. So there come. He cannot create. So he go up to the physical level. 
yeah? Even sometimes shift to the astral level to get the being from here. So he can expand his territory. You capish? Yes. That's what we call Maya. That's what we call Satan, the devil, whatever, okay? Right. Now, he come here. He also has power, eh? Because everything from God has power. You don't know how much power you have. That's the problem. Because you have the physical body. The astral being, the second being, the third being, they all have power and they all realize they have power. Only you, the human race, do not realize that you have any power. Mostly you don't. Some do, you see? Some do. Some have psychic power and they realize it. Some develop their magical power and they realize they have it. Sometimes they use it for bad reason because the being from hell come up and tell them, oh, if you do this, you get better profit, ta da 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 So that's how, that's how the physical being sometimes fall into hell, or the astral being even. That's why the higher level being have to come down and help them because they do not belong there. Do you understand now? Yeah. They just tempted. They've been seduced into doing things that they are originally do not want to do. Because some hell being, they came up here to the physical level and they somehow managed to be born into, get some connection, you know, fake passport, whatever. <laughs> and managed to be born, look like humans. Sometimes they can manifest, they can manifest. Because they also don't have the physical body. Only human beings have physical body, and the physical body is good for protection of the crude atmosphere here. But nevertheless, it is also a hindrance, yeah? It uh, encases all the power that you have from God, yeah? It makes you forget where you came from. It makes you very vulnerable to all kinds of influences, bad or good. Therefore, the heaven has to come down, help you to influence you in a good way. But at the same time, the hell also come up, try to influence you in a bad way. Here we are being young. You hear me now? Yeah. Therefore, always master come down and help these fallen beings because they don't deserve to go to hell. They're not crude. They're not that crude to go to hell. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yes, right. At least they belong to the Brahma, the third level. Because even at the creating, at the sifting of the creation, uh, the crude one sometimes can be refined. Some of them not, not that crude, you know what I mean? Refined and put up to a higher level. Yeah? Slowly. And also, by the way, there are some higher beings. Even the fourth level, the third level, the second level being come down here, even the fifth level come down here, because encased in this body, forgot also the origin. And so be seduced also by Maya. They even tried to seduce the fifth level being, the fourth level being. I told you yesterday the guy from fourth level, he opened the, the restaurant selling meat and alcohol and losing all his stuff for money losing all his spiritual wealth, almost. I told him if you don't stop now, you'll be beginning nothing. You might not go to hell, but that's all you get, you know? So anyway, I don't think they believe me because we don't, we, we don't meet that much, you know? And uh, normally I don't interfere, but because I know them before and I know their purpose to come in here, so I feel sorry. You know, it touched me, so I have tried to help them a lot. So. Can you imagine if the third level being, because sometimes the, the, sometimes the human being here have been refined enough, yeah? Refined enough through virtues, through contact with some finer being like master or all the heavenly being, they become refined and so they could go back to heaven. Like the third level, for example, or the second level, or the third level. And then they come down here again to visit some of their old friends, souls. And they get tempted again by the devil. And they shaky. They don't know if it's good or bad. See what I mean? These souls saw the God.
from the heaven must go down. Not like high God all the time, eh? Just like fifth level master or even four level, come down and say, no, 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 no. Here, this way, this way, come, come with me. Understand that? And rescue them. Now you hear, now you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. God Almighty, don't always manifest on earth for these small things. But He sometimes come out because some grave damage has been done to some planet. Or to lift it up, understand? Due to the prayer of the inhabitants of that planet. And nobody else can do it. The fifth level master cannot do it. The council is not the time for them to come down because they don't have affinity. So, God sometimes come down. Understand now? Yes. God business is not to rescue the souls to come to the fifth level. Just by the way, hey, why not just come with me? <laughs> I'm going that direction. You know what I mean? And uh, I will drop you off there. Yeah, because it's the same direction, I drop you off and then I go my way. So just come with me. I have big car, big airplane, etc., etc. Do you understand now? Yeah. I mean, is it clear to you? Yeah. Are you still unhappy? No. no. Good. Thank God. <laughs> Any question? It's okay, huh? I mean, I don't get angry or anything, I'm just explaining to you. Sometimes if your concept is wrong, you create bad karma. So I have to kind of reprimand you. That's just to cleanse you up. I'm never angry with you. Understand? Cleaning, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Well, the, the dirtier, the more strong force, but that's not angry. Understand? Just cleaning off, yeah? Right. Suppose you put a very dirty things into a cleaning machine and he has to use stronger force. Is because he's angry with the clothes? <laughs> no, eh? Espectadores sinceros, gracias por acompañarnos en el programa de hoy titulado La historia de la creación, parte 1 de 4 entre maestra y discípulos. A continuación viene Ensayos poéticos del libro El profeta de Kalin Gibran, El retorno del barco y el dar, parte 2 de 2. En palabras de sabiduría, después de noticias de interés. Sigan con nosotros en Supreme Master Television para más programas positivos. Que los reinos celestiales les otorguen esplendor espiritual. Sanshir viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program entitled The Story of Creation, but one of four, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Poetic Essays from the Prophet by Khalil Shibran, The Coming of the Ship and Ungiving, Part 2 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please, stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the heavenly realms endow you with spiritual splendor. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.